Hi, and welcome to Read Becca. This week I set aside everything that I was previously reading, starting on Valentine's Day, and set up a project to read Black Joy, which for me meant picking up a number of Black authored, Black protagonist romances. So I read three books, uh, two of those full-length novels and one novella this week, and the first one of those is the Promise of a Kiss by Cynthia Williams. Uh, that was a novella. Uh, it is a prequel to a continuing series. Um, in this novella, we follow Dominic and Jeanette. Dominic is a fixer for politicians and powerful people. So he's been hired by a politician in order to uh, look up a woman from his past who may be claiming that uh, she has his child. So Dominic enlists uh, the help of a female private eye, Jeanette, and the two of them uh, kind of end up in a forced proximity situation uh, when they go to find this woman at a convention that she's attending and get some more information about her. So once they're there, of course, uh, the convention is all booked up at the hotel, so they have to share a bed. And they realize they have some chemistry and really want to get to know each other a little bit better uh, and more intimately. So once uh, once they get there, I really enjoyed the kind of cute tourist attractions that they went to. Um, they kind of went on a multi-day date almost, um, and then it turned steamy. So I, I really liked it there. The first part of the novel for me is where it was weaker. Uh, I think they were a little contentious with each other, and Dominique even was a little physically violent uh, or protective about some situations that uh, Jeanette had been in uh, and told him about. So I wasn't so into that. Uh, for me, it was just okay, uh, about a two and a half to three star. Next, I read uh, Alyssa Cole's Let Us Dream. Now, I started reading Alyssa Cole uh, two years ago when I first began reading romance, and she has never let me down. This was my first of her historical works, and it was great. Um, I uh, don't think I've read a romance set in the 1920s period, and this specifically is set around women's suffrage. So we have a black female protagonist who is um, running a brothel slash nightclub, um, but she's also teaching her ladies uh, civics lessons in order to empower them to work with women's suffrage and get themselves the vote. So meanwhile, our hero in this story uh, is a illegal immigrant who is a Muslim uh, from India, and he has worked his way up from a dishwasher to chef at her kitchen. So that's how they kind of get to know each other and uh, end up having um, a spicy relationship. Uh, finally, I uh, I read Starting Over in Wickham Falls, which is the eighth or ninth book in Rochelle Ayler's Wickham Falls series. Um, obviously, they're all pretty much standalone, so you can pick up wherever you like. And this one was a total cover pickup. The protagonist is selling yarn on the cover, so I was really interested in that. Um, so she essentially has been stuck living with her parents ever since her brother died, and her mother never got over the death. So um, our protagonist here is just deciding she's finally fed up, she's going to do her own thing, um, she's been taking care of the family business, and she wants to start off on her own. So she's moving out by herself, she's starting her own craft business with a specialty in uh, knitwear, and once she starts looking into doing that, um, she becomes involved with the local uh, town newspaper man who is helping her set up her ads and, and that sort of thing for her new business. Uh, so they find out they have a connection and he ends up um, helping her out and encouraging her with her art. Um, so I really liked their relationship. It was super positive. Um, the writing was good. This one I would say was a three to a three and a half. It was fun and light and kind of more in the rom-com area um, with, I think, one steamy scene, but uh, it was a fun read that probably I won't remember long term, uh, but well, well worth passing the time. 
So that's what I read this week. Um, I'm going to pick back up with what I put down to start these things. Um, so that's Iron Gold and the For Forever Sea. Um, so that'll be coming up probably in the next week. Thanks, like, and subscribe.